Hey guys, the Great Mixer here. Today, guys, I will be showing you how to install the SKRS. Now, just to tell you, my SKRS is for this for sale. All the information will be in my video, and I will put it in the top banner to make it easier. Just real quick to tell you, the tools you are going to need are a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and a three centimeter or millimeter Allen key. If you have three point five, you can use it. Now, uh, if you buy it from me, you will need a 10 millimeter wrench. Let me tell you why. You see here this Allen key here, the camera for yes. And this side it has the same Allen key, but here I have this 10 millimeter uh, uh, bolt, and I will tell you why in the remaining of the video. So if you bought it from me, 10 millimeter wrench will help. But if you didn't, you'll just need a flathead screwdriver. A uh, 3 to 3.5 millimeter uh, Allen key and a flat head screwdriver. Now, for this, you can remove it by your nails, just uh, grab it from the edge here and push it up. Yeah. But if you can't, just bring a flat head screwdriver, just like that. And then, let me show you. You see that screw inside? Just unscrew it. Now, I already have it loose and prepared for the video. So, just unscrew it and this will come right out just like that now if you plan to get a SKRS I really recommend you to keep your uh, shifter knob and to save the screw inside just remount this back okay now uh, let me pre prepare my SKRS because I want to unscrew this bolt now in your case you have to unscrew these two uh, allen keys in my case this Allen key and this bolt so let me remove them okay guys so I got it ready here now the way you mount it depends so make sure you just mount it facing straight just like that once it's facing straight then you can tighten up your bolts I will just tighten them and come back all right so guys after tightening them I'll just remove my mouse here you will have to plug the wiring harness it's big enough here so I'll we'll have to plug this, it's a USB, just plug it in. And then now I will be showing you the setup. So I will be launching American Truck Simulator for this, so let me do that. And I'll get it ready and I'll come back. So this is mainly how it will look. You have here your range chooser, so low, high, and here is your splitter. Now until the game launches, just to explain, the range low and high depends on what you are carrying low gears are basically like more for crawling gears and high gears more you know for cruising gears or high speed gears now low gears according to my knowledge does uh, make fuel economy worse because more torque will be transferred but you should not worry about that and here when you control through your 18 speeds so for six speeds another six speeds and low and high will count so let me show you all right guys so once you have it connected you will go to your options in euro track and in american track it works the same and then you can go to your controllers here this will be as non let me show you this will be selected as non you will just have to select it and select a new device make sure that your transmission is at at edge shifter mode then scroll to the transmissions menu you will end up here here is where you will choose you can choose 8 and fuel 13 speeds or you can go 18 speeds if you have the reverse uh, position signed up hit assign and assign and remove it here like let me show for first position you will do this second position third fourth fifth sixth for all of these positions so and then uh, this one shifter toggle one you will just cycle it this one this is shifter toggle one just uh, hit and cycle it you know left click and cycle it for the shift to the toggle two it will it will be this you will just cycle it and it will be assigned and also make sure that the shifter toggle you switch is on and uh, that's it let's go for a test drive so let me turn on the light so i can see okay so guys this is what you will end up with um so in 13 speeds the reverse gear so let me show you so this is reverse gear 
Then you have crawling gear, then first, second, third, and fourth. Again, this is for your low and high gears. You will only have that with 18 speeds. Then for this switch, turn it up. All right. Then you will have, like I said, five, six, seven, eight. And the same switch for the range, eight high, eight low. Me turn on here. So let me give you a run. So again, this is crowning gear, which use used to set on hills. So look, I I will show you here. I will be driving. As you're able to tell, I easily set, and then I take it to second gear. This is what's recommended because of the very low uh, ratios, and then I take it to third, and then goes to fourth. All right, and uh, this is what you end up with. Then again, go for higher range, fifth gear right now. So I am right now in fifth gear because in this kind of setup, you won't be able to achieve high speeds in low gears. Then sixth, and you get the point. So let's say that you are in a hill right now. So let me stop. Let's say that you are in a hill. Now, if you can go, if you have a very, you know, unstrong engine, I would recommend you to go with low speed, which is like that. Take it to the second position and then you can move. This is a very low, you know, ratio that will allow you to easily go. Now, it will limit you to 6 miles an hour, but yes. And then, then you can cycle through your speeds and then, as you're able to tell, easily go. Now, that's it. Thanks guys for watching and stay safe from Corona. Make sure that, you know, keep social distancing and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Also, you can watch one of my previous videos. Also, follow me on Twitter and you can share the video. So, see you guys in the next video. Take care.